The silhouette sign is something you'll hear a lot of when you're reading x-rays, and it's important because its presence can signal that there is some type of pathology in the area of interest. Before we start talking about what the silhouette sign is, it's important for us to first understand a little bit about what x-ray images represent. The image that you see on an x-ray film is the product of differences in densities. In other words, the contrast between tissues of different densities is what produces the lines and borders on x-ray. For simplicity's sake, we can only see three different densities on x-ray. The first is air, which includes the lungs. Second is connective tissue. This means all tissues as well as blood and water, which should not be surprising because we all know that water makes up the majority of our body weight. And lastly, bone. And so all of these lines and borders that we see on x-rays are the result of different densities being next to each other. For example, bone next to air, bone next to connective tissue, or connective tissue next to air. In instances in which areas of similar densities are next to each other, such as bone next to bone, which there's no good example of here, connective tissue next to connective tissue, such as the chambers of the heart, and air next to air, such as the lobes of the lungs, there is no contrast in densities, and hence the entire area looks like one large blob with no borders. To illustrate this point further, let's take a look at some films and CT scans. Look at the descending aorta on this frontal chest x-ray. Notice that you see one border of it clearly, while you cannot see the other border at all, represented by the dashed lines. Now why is this? This has to do with the fact that one of the borders of the descending aorta is in contact with air. You can see this on the CT of the chest. And because the aorta, which is classified as connective tissue, and air have different densities, you can see a clear border on the x-ray. The other border of the descending aorta, along the connective tissue of the mediastinum, is harder to see on a chest x-ray because both the descending aorta and the mediastinum have similar densities. Now let's now take a look at the left and right heart borders, which are here on the CT. The heart is basically a, the density of connective tissue, and because of the left and right heart border, the air found in the lung, we can see nice sharp borders on the frontal chest x-ray, which I'm showing here. As a last example, let's look underneath the right diaphragm. We know that the liver is right underneath it, but we're not able to see a distinct border between the right diaphragm and the liver. And that's because both these structures fall under connective tissue, and hence are of similar densities. So whenever there's areas of similar densities next to each other, there's no border on a chest x-ray. Contrast us with what's underneath the left diaphragm. Here we can clearly see the border between the stomach and left diaphragm, and that's because the air found in the stomach is of a different density than the diaphragm, which allows us to see a border between the two. Now I'm probably beating a dead horse by now, but that means that you probably understand how x-ray images are produced. Now for the main course, the silhouette sign. The silhouette sign is when a border that you would normally expect to see on an x-ray disappears. And I'm going to write this out for you. One example is the right heart border. This is important because it's a signal that there must be some sort of pathology and can also help you determine the location of the pathology if you see a silhouette sign. To make sense of this concept, let's look at a right middle lobe pneumonia. Again, I want to remind you that it's the right middle lobe that's in contact with the right heart border, which you can see here on CT. Pneumonia is basically a collection of inflammatory material in the lung that replaces the air that's normally there. So in essence, pneumonia has the same density as connective tissue. You can probably see where I'm going with this. Normally, the right heart border is next to the air in the lungs, which is why you can see a nice right heart border in healthy patients. But in patients with right middle lobe pneumonia, the right heart border no longer borders air, but borders the pneumonia, which has the same density as the heart. As a result, the right heart border disappears, and because the density of the right heart and right middle lobe pneumonia are similar, this is the classic silhouette sign. Again, the disappearance of a normally seen border because of some sort of pathology. 
Now for fun, let's take a look at a right lower lobe pneumonia in comparison to the right middle lobe pneumonia, which we just looked at. They're about in the same position, but notice that the right heart border is still visible in the right lower lobe pneumonia, but this appears in the right middle lobe pneumonia, or the silhouette sign. If you understand the silhouette sign, you should know why this is. And that's because it's the right middle lobe that's in contact with the right heart border, not the right lower lobe. In the film with the right lower lobe pneumonia, the right middle lobe is not affected and still consists of air inside. And because the density of the air is different from the density of the right heart which it borders, we can still see this border clearly, even though there's a right lower lobe pneumonia present. Now I'm going to stress that the silhouette sign doesn't just happen with pneumonia and heart borders. It happens whenever any two areas of normally different densities become similar in density, which can happen due to a variety of causes, such as lung collapse, aka atelectasis, pneumonia, fluid, cancer, etc. Hopefully now that you understand the silhouette sign, we'll do a video on how we can use the silhouette sign to determine what lung lobe a pneumonia is in. And now for our take home points. Firstly, all lines and borders in x-rays are the results of different areas of different densities being adjacent to each other. Generally, there are three groups of different densities, air, connected tissue, and bone. Areas of similar densities adjacent to each other will appear as one giant blob with no distinct borders within the blob. And second, the silhouette sign is when a line or border that is normally present in an x-ray disappears. The classic example being the right heart border with the right middle lobe pneumonia. Thank you.